G'day. Um, we're going to talk solar. We've had ours five or six years now. Initially, we put five kilowatts of panels up on the roof of the shed here. And I thought, whoa, we got solar panels and it's going to make all the difference. Um, it did to some extent, not really a lot, but then back then we were getting 15 cents per kilowatt from the, um, from the electricity provider. And over the years it's slowly been decreasing, 14 cents, then 12 cents and it kept going, where currently it's six cents per kilowatt. Um, which means that when you buy these things and you get the government rebate, uh, you calculate, given how much you're going to save, of how much or how long it's going to take for you to pay off the initial investment of buying the actual solar panels. Well, obviously, from 14 cents a kilowatt, which is now down to six cents a kilowatt, and the shelf life of these panels is, they say, between 20 and 25 years. You reckon at the original 14 cents a kilowatt, you pay it off in 10, 10 years, 12 years perhaps, and then you're home free. So then you've got another 12 odd years of you using your solar and you've paid it out. At six cents a kilowatt, um, I'm going to be dead before it's paid off. It's craziness. The other thing, of course, when you have solar is you have to change the way you do things around the house. In other words, you use all your heavy draw appliances, your dishwasher, your dryer, the washing machine, etc. Anything that has a motor or a heater. In our case, we also have a hot tub. So that's got the pumps working, it's got the heater working. Um, so pretty much um, they've made nearly all the savings we would have been making null and void by dropping the input back into the grid of what we don't use to next to nothing. So anyway, a couple of years down the track, another guy came to us and said, you know, do you want solar panels? And I nearly laughed in his face because there's no point. I'm getting nothing back for it. He says, aha, but wait, there's more. <laughs> he offered to um, install solar panels and give me a battery at a high re highly reduced rate. Again, with a government subsidy. I told him, I've already got solar panels. Can we add more solar panels? He says, oh yeah, of course you can. So, walk with me. That, what you're looking at there, is the inverter for the original five kilowatts of solar panels up on the shed. So that's it there. And that does what it's supposed to do when it works. <laughs> it probably doesn't mean much. But anyway, it does work. And then when we, um, when we decided to add the other five kilowatts, which went up onto the house, giving us a total of 10 kilowatts of solar panels. And we hooked that all together to a 10 kilowatt battery. Um, which is 100% full at the moment, as you can see with the LED down there. It has totally changed 
my perception, per perception of solar panels. Now it's worth it. Um, because instead of sending the unused electricity back into the grid at six cents a kilowatt, we're keeping it right here. And if I need to use any electricity off the grid, instead of buying it at 25 cents a kilowatt, um, it's right here. Isn't that amazing? Six cents a kilowatt, we give it to them. It hasn't degraded anyway, it hasn't depreciated, and they're gonna send it back to me when I need it at 25 cents a kilowatt. What a bloody ripoff. Anyway, it's in here now. Um, it has completely changed um, my perception of solar panels. My suggestion to you is if you're going to get solar panels or a solar system, don't even bother unless you're getting a battery with it because you get nothing back for the unused power nowadays. This way, you're actually making savings. 10 kilowatt, to my way of thinking, is probably the optimal size to get. If you've got roof space, increase it even more, add more panels. You know, people go and buy three kilowatts of solar panels or something, you're just wasting your time and you're wasting your money. If you're going to do it, go big or go home and make sure you get a battery with it, otherwise you're wasting your money. One other thing that I, uh, I didn't mention to you guys is depending on your provider, they actually have restrictions on how many solar panels you can put on the roof, purely for the reason that they don't want you pumping too much solar into the grid because then it makes it unstable. If, however, you've got a battery, you're not pumping it into the grid, you're pumping it into your battery. So any restrictions that may be wherever you're living as to how many solar panels you can have on the roof, the minute you tell them you're adding a battery, the restrictions are off. So that's a bonus right there. Well worth the money, invest in it, check out what all the parameters are in your individual state, Victoria, that's what they got. Initially, they told me I can only put five kilowatts on. That's what we went with. I said, the biggest I can get. You can't put any more on. And then when the second round came around, I said, well, I've already got five kilowatts on, so what, what am I gonna do? I said, ah, but if you've got a battery, you can put on as much as you like. Bonus, love it. Uh, so that's what we did. I hope this helps you guys out. It's worth the money but only if you're using a battery as well. That's my opinion. We got about five or six years worth of experience with this stuff now. And I've got to tell you, my normal electricity bill, whatever that would be, let's call it $1,000 per cycle. I'm now paying between two and $300 per cycle. So it's down to a quarter to a third of what I would otherwise normally be paying by having my battery. With solar, the savings would be minimal. Don't waste your time. That's it guys, that's all I got. Catch you on the next one.